So how wide your feet should be when you squat is completely dependent on your personal anatomy. So it depends on how the shape of your hip sockets, it depends on how deep they are, whether they're rotated in or out, um, it depends on how long your thigh bones are, how long your torso is, it depends on heaps of factors, so it's a matter of trying to find what works best for you. So for example, for someone like me, if I tried to squat with my feet narrow and hip width, I run out, I can do it sort of without weight on my back, but if I was to put a bar on my back, um, I wouldn't be able, you have to sort of balance that weight over your middle of your foot. And I, I really couldn't do it with a foot width that narrow. Whereas if I put them wider, I can get much lower, much easier. So that's one thing to consider. The other thing is your hip socket shape and depth. So for me, when I bring my knee directly up in front of me, I only have about this much range on this side before I get a pinching in my hip. But if I bring it to the side, I've got a lot more range and it doesn't pinch at all. So for me, if I tried to have quite a narrow stance here, I run out of room in my hip joint. Whereas if I have it quite wide, um, I've got a lot more space to move there. So you kind of already know for me that I need to have my knee relatively wide to get low without pinching my hip. Um, the other thing to consider is that your hip joint is compressed when you're in a position of so flexion internal rotation and cross body adduction those things compress your hip joint so if you've got a hip joint that's a bit niggly the wider and more outwardly rotated you go the better it's likely to be when you're moving into a flexed position um and just in terms of people sort of going oh you need to improve your hip mobility and stuff um your hip mobility is largely dictated by the shape of your bones and they can get very irritated very quickly if you try and stretch them um so Maximize the range you've got, but trying to push into new range in your hip is not something I recommend. 